This team is always going to hold a, a special place in my heart. The personalities, the players, and the coaches, they came together this year and accomplished something special in year one. We accomplished a lot of our goals. We didn't ultimately accomplish the goal, which is bringing a championship uh, to the Twin Cities. But I can tell you that I'll always look back on this team, uh, the first team that I was ever the head coach of. Um, I'll remember every player. I'll remember every game. I'll remember the moments, both the highs and lows. This team will always be very special to me. getting back into the grind. Um, it never gets old for me. Year 12, seemed like the time just flew, man. But if I ever dread, you know, coming to camp, it's time for me to hang it up. <laughs> I don't need to be here, you know, but you know, that excitement, that juice is still flowing. You know, the average lifespan in the league is about three and a half years, you know, so you know, I'm privileged to be, to be able to play this game, to be, to been have, able to play this game for, you know, going on 12 years now. You know, the body feels good, the mind feels great. Got a great opportunity with this uh, 2022 Minnesota Vikings team. Um, got a new regime in the building, a lot of excitement. Looking forward to the season. What's good? Back in the Man, the vibes are just incredible. The atmosphere, the coaches, the excitement they bring each and every day, the energy they bring every day, it rubs off, it rubs off on us. Of the pieces that we added throughout the off season. Time to play some football, baby! Let's go! Get some key guys back off injury. I really, truly believe, you know, the sky's the limit for us. I love flying up under the radar because when we pop up, they're surprised we're not because we know what we have. We know what we need to do. Keep sleeping on us. And I think this can really be a big year for us. Can't talk about it. Now we just have to go out there and do it. The best teams I've ever been a part of as a player or coach were, were player driven, you know, that player ownership. And to get that, um, ultimately you need to have a a platform for those guys that the players believe are the leaders of our football team. It was a really cool process, you know, how we set it up and allow our players to vote the guys that are going to wear the, the C's on their jerseys. First and foremost on the offensive side of the ball, Kirk Cousins. He missed one vote out of our entire football team and that was on his own ballot. So I think it speaks incredibly about Kirk. The authenticity at which he's leading every day, setting an example, he's a major piece 
of our leadership of our football team. Dalvin Cook has been one of the greatest joys to be around since I got the head coach and, and I think it's remarkable uh, how special of a leader he is. Uh, there's always two or three examples of him finishing a play that if a young player sees that, he knows what the standard of how we practice is. Special, special football player. Very lucky to have Dalvin Cook. Thanks, Dalvin. I appreciate it, buddy. Happy birthday, too. Yeah, absolutely. Birthday boy coming through, man. What's going on, Mr. Cook? The birthday boy. This is birthday. Happy birthday again. Happy birthday. Can we get the crowd hyped up today, Ed? Ed! You gotta hit the gritty too. Let's go, Ed. Make us proud, bro. The best gritty you've ever done. Start slow, Ed. Get him going! <laughs> You think he hits it? <laughs> Brian O'Neill, um, pretty unanimous among those offensive linemen that they view him as their leader and, and really has assumed a, a strong leadership role for us. Uh, really, really impressed with the type of person, the player, um, and the work ethic of uh, Brian O'Neill. And then last, on the offensive side of the ball, Adam Thielen, uh, since the day he first stepped foot here, uh, you know, probably at rookie minicamp when he earned a right to, to become part of this team. Although I was not here for it, I can imagine what he was like early on. Competitor, guy that works every single day. You almost have to protect him from himself sometimes uh, just because he's such a tremendous worker and still carries that uh, tryout-esque player chip on his shoulder that makes him special. And then defensively, three veterans that I think have earned the right to not only lead our defense, but be major, major contributors to leading our football team. Starts with Eric Kendricks. The camp he had, the conversations that took place even long before uh, I was ever really able to start coaching football of this team, uh, EK and I were putting our heads together the best way uh, to build this thing. And he's had that ownership and that influence on our team from day one of my time here and, and even really before that. Love Eric Kendricks and what he stands for and what he means to our team. Harrison Smith, the standard of consistency of playing not only at a high level, uh, but he's really come into his own. To have an extension of the coaching staff like Harrison on the field, uh, still playing at a, such a high level, helping our team as much as he does, huge to have Harrison. And then ultimately, uh, Patrick Peterson. I love having him on our football team. An unbelievable veteran presence for our team. His history as a player and as a leader speaks for itself. He's had to see on his chest many, many years in this league. Uh, CJ Ham getting a lot of votes as well offensively to go along with being our special teams captain. Once again, another player that comes for a tryout, you know, however many years later. Uh, CJ is a major, major focal point of this organization, our offense, um, and a special person that uh, you're lucky to expose your football team to. It's pretty special to know we've got that much potential uh, that the players see leadership-wise in our team, and we're going to honor that. And it'll be really cool to see those guys run out of the tunnel with that C on their chest. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's roll. Heavy. It's heavy. Make sure you don't drop my gloves out there, bud. I hold them for you. What's your name? Braden. Braden. What I think is 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 cool about this camp is. You know, when we go and it's it's a high day, it's a day that that we know we're going to go and compete. It, it's as intense as I've ever been around in a training camp practice. A ton of reps, high quality reps that are very game like. When we go, we go and you're going to get the most out of it as far as getting in shape and getting prepared for a game. Uh, I remember training camp, we, uh, we had the practice against the Niners.
I always question how those practices are going to go because, you know, two different teams, two different philosophies, but like, you know, things can get chippy at times. I think we matched up very well against them, and to me, that's a good team to match up well against. I mean, they're extremely good offense. I think it was good practice for us at the time. Joint practices, I feel like you can get a ton of value. I think it's more game like than preseason games because uh, you're getting a ton more reps, ones versus ones. The intensity level is higher than just a normal training camp practice. Because everyone's competing, everyone's trying to, you know, either win a job or or make the team, um, trying to prove themselves, right? But when you get against another team, uh, more people on eyes on you, um, that intensity level rises, and, and it, it does bring some chippiness. In the moment, sometimes you get frustrated, uh, but but you look back at it, you're like, man, that was that was uh, really good work, and I know we got a lot better from it. When you can kind of handle that emotion and and kind of turn it into pushing yourself a little bit further. Um, I think it really helps you as a team and it shows what kind of team you have and how you handle that adversity. Being able to have the opportunity to go against me in practice and see where I'm at. Um, you're really testing yourself to see where you're at and everything like that. Uh, and I feel like it kind of paid off. Nice punch. Good aggressiveness, boy. The square you play, the stronger you're going to be. For sure. Because you get comfortable staying square in all your areas. Because you got a lot of, obviously, you can recover from that anyway. Mm -hmm. now. The more you guys, the more you use both you guys, I mean, it's amazing. You can jump people, kid, pot, you can do all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, the big decision uh, your jersey number. Uh, I'll do 71. 71. 71. Okay. We got you that. Uh, that purple looked good. So I, I, I originally 77, so it wasn't open. And like I know like Trent Williams wore 71, and just like other guys who wore 71. And I thought it looked good in it, so I knew I, I could wear it too. You mentioned 71, and I was like, bam, that's a perfect number. And it kind of just like, okay, some of the great left tackles, where is this number? And I really thought of Trent, my favorite player. He's like, I'm gonna rock that. And yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Big dog. What's, up, man? What's good? Good, how are you? You straight? Hell yeah, I'm good. good. Hell yeah. Good. Hell yeah. Going good for you. Already. Yeah. Going smooth. And that was really like my first time meeting him in person though. I definitely looked up to him. And when he came up to me and told me like he sees his younger self and me, it was kind of like hit down deep. Like, like really like, wow. Like, coming from my favorite player in the league, the reason why I wear like number 71 and things like that, I'm um, kind of hit deep. So mm, I know I'm not there yet at that level yet, but that's the goal I'm working there. Let's do it. I'm walking out right behind you. this thing out every ticket 7,000 that was a good throw right there excellent get some water get ready to roll something that I always uh, enjoy or, or I know that is needed is, is game like reps oh, yeah. ah. that's, a great job. that's a good job right there good two reps by you guys good two reps right there good good two minutes
You know, a lot of times you kind of just go through plays and you're trying to learn plays. Um, but when you can get those true game-like reps, you know, it's situational, it's first and 10, it's second and six, it's second and 15, it's third and three. Bang, clock, 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 clock. Having to go through that game-like situation, a lot of reps in a row, you know, you're moving the ball down the field. Um, you, you don't get a sub after two plays or after four plays. Can I try to win? Yeah, so, so we're in field goal range. You don't make it. He's hot right now, man. That's awesome. Hey, I want to get you guys rolling. We talked about a week ago how important this week was. You guys have knocked everything out of the park since we've started talking from day one. I expect that never to change. Week in and week out, we're on our way. You guys feel it, don't you? You feel this a little bit, right? I know I feel it, this coaching staff does. Clearly, all these people feel it. That's damn obvious to me. If I would've known it would've been like this, we might've been here every night at 7.30 doing the damn thing, okay? Promise me something, take care of each other. You guys got the day off tomorrow, but get your minds right for this simulated week. Whether you play in this game or not means nothing to me. I want you guys to focus on what your process is leading into this game, because the next time for some of you will be September 11th at home against the Green Bay Packers. You guys with me? You guys understand what I'm saying? Greg Joseph, all you keep doing, man, is answering the bell over and over. Get up for Greg right there. But we're not going to see this guy tomorrow. And as a reminder, he's going to be very well behaved on his birthday. We're going to have Irv Smith come up a day early. There we go right there. Happy birthday, Herb, right there. And then, fellas, listen up. You guys are going to get a ball, autograph it. You'll get announced by name, and then you guys can throw it into the crowd, and you're off from there, okay? You guys with me, Herb? You got him. Leading into the season, uh, you, know, you don't really know what to expect. You know, new staff, uh, new front office, uh, you know, just things are up in the air. Um, but right away, just from day one, uh, you know, everybody here, the coaches, um, the front office, just had a plan and they stuck to it. And as, as, as players, we were able to, uh, you know, buy into that right away. It was no fluff, there wasn't anything fake about it. It's, it's just been, it's been phenomenal. Who knows what the culture was before we got here, um, but to kind of have the turnover and set the standard of what we want it to look like, what a winning culture is, I think that you can see some of the dividends that it's, it's been paying in all of our leadership buying in. This isn't a, a transactional business that they try to make it where you're here today, gone tomorrow, up this week, down this week, cut. That's what the NFL is. We want to make it a transformational thing and, and that you come in and you learn and you develop and you're, you're welcomed and it's more of a family. I feel like that started off with, with KO coming into the building. You know, him just expressing that, you know, he wanted the whole team to be connected as one. So I, I feel like everybody just has that connection now. D.O. D.O. That's my dog. That's my dog. Hey. You know, I feel like we're just leaning on one another. Uh, we're, we're buying into uh, you know who we have here, what we have going on here, the coaches that are here, uh, and everybody feels that we have a good chance. Our new head coach. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get a witness and a raucous round of applause for Mr. Kevin O'Connor. First thing that he said, this is our team. This, I'm not gonna come in here and just be a, a dictator and uh, tell you guys what to do. This is your guys' team, first and foremost. You guys are guys playing on the field. We're the coaches, but we all have the same goal. So it was, it was easy to buy in seeing his, how humble he was coming in, but also how confident he was of, okay, if we all buy into our process, and doing it our way, we'll, we'll be successful no matter what we do. And no matter what the results are, we're gonna take a step in the right direction. Thank you so much to our great fans for coming out like this. I know I speak for all these guys when I tell you, we feel you guys. You guys will have a huge role on our season. September 11th, I believe is one month from tomorrow by the month. And I'm just telling you right now, all right? I've been on that sideline on the other side. It's not fun. It's a tough experience because of what you guys can do, and I can promise it's gonna be a tough experience for everybody we play for these guys right here. Give it up for our players real quick. We wanted to come in and make sure uh, that we established what we believe is a winning culture. 
both from a front office standpoint, coaching staff, and then ultimately all the support we put around the players, uh, put together uh, an organization we can be proud of with the right kind of people, with the right kind of juice every single day to attack winning, uh, doing it in the right way, uplifting our players to be the best versions of themselves. And I feel like we were able to do that. You guys just got a little blink, a little peek into what it's like every day to be the head coach of this team. I love this team. I love our coaches. These guys have bought into everything that we have tried to do since we got here, and it's showing day in and day out. They compete, they work, they take care of each other, and they're going to be a problem for everybody we play. Okay, but I want to thank everybody for coming out and make sure you do something for me. At our stadium, we should never, ever see the other team's color in the stands. I don't want to see any green. I don't want to see any yellow. Nothing but purple at U.S. Bank Stadium on September 11th. We love you guys. Thank you very much. We welcome you to Allegiant Stadium for the Minnesota Vikings' first preseason game. Now with a fair amount of the Vikings in 2022 going from old to new. Paul and Pete, a new era of Vikings football starts today. We're going to show them what the Minnesota Vikings are going to be like this year. Show them our identity right now through our physicality and our effort. Let's go. Vikings on three. One, two, three. Vikings. And then Kevin and I and then Rob obviously got together to set the vision for this team, not just this year, but the years to come. Those are all just ideas. You have a vision, you have an idea of what a player is, but until you really see it day in and day out, and then you see it in games, that's really where it starts to take shape. We have a lot of great players, competitive players, humble, hardworking, uh, really excited about that, and we love how they, it all fits together. I think that was the key. I wish we could keep all 90. I mean, you just do. Uh, the difficult part of uh, cutting players and saying goodbye to them, you know, that's on the horizon, and Kevin and general manager Kwesi Adolfo Mensa, they'll be doing that for the first time. It's always a tough night because all of these guys have given it everything they have over the entire offseason. It takes a little bit of your soul, I would say. I understand there's a business side of things, and you know, look, I think people see me as an analytics person, so there's, there is a calculated side, but there's also the person who just cares about people and has to sit across from somebody and tell them news that they don't want to hear. But ultimately, I know that some of those players are back here, and we're going to pour everything we can into them, and the other players that got opportunities, I'm the first one to call the other team's GM and tell them, hey, this is a great person, we just didn't have the space, or I hope I'm wrong, and you say those things and you mean them. I really do root for all these guys because they put everything into this team. But I understand uh, those are the decisions we have to make and ultimately that's my job and, and I have to make them. But like I said in my press conference, I hope these days stay hard because I don't want to become a cold person. Uh, they're just going to keep being hard and that's just the nature of the job. All right, we've got our first What It Takes meeting. So this meeting on Wednesdays will always be designed to give you guys real tangible things, offense, defense, special teams that we think as a coaching staff will give us the best possible chance and what we think it's going to take for us to have a chance to win that football game. Okay, this week against Green Bay, we know uh, this is an outfit. Uh, we know what this team's all about. You guys, much more than I do, having played these guys two times a year for as long as you've been a Minnesota Viking. All right, we owe these guys. We owe these guys a lot. Or just trust yourself with a good week of preparation, what we can go put on the field on Sunday. Every coach in this room, every player in this room should feel like we're going to go take it to these guys just by doing what we do, all 11, execute and snap in, snap out, doing the little things. It'll be really, really important. And oh, by the way, just so you know it exists, Z gets to play against his former team. The hardest thing for you is going to be not getting too excited. I cannot wait to watch you play. Give it up for Z and Sully, by the way. Give it up. I got to hear it. I got to hear it. Very excited, man, and can't wait. I came to the other side, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a game, and you know, we all get to play and do something that we love, and I just can't wait 
to go against uh, my old team? I mean, it feels like I'm a kid again. Uh, you know, just waking up on them Saturday mornings, uh, ready for the game, excited for the game. So it definitely feels like this now. Uh, first game of the season, uh, new coaches, new new people, new players in the building. Uh, so we're all excited to, you know, show showcase what we have to the world. Oh, I'm just ready to hit those fans. You know, the preseason game, I got my first, you know, taste of it and I had chills all over my body. So I'm just ready to hit that, you know, that chant and uh, make a play. We're going to have a hell of an environment on Sunday. Let's captivate that. Let's get those guys going. Give them something early on by playing hard, finishing, doing all the things we can control, and then be ready to adjust, adapt, and respond to be able to set the tone and then sustain that momentum. I promise you, fellas, we're going to have a hell of an opportunity. But let's go earn it. Let's go feel like we can go to sleep Saturday night, understanding like we've earned the right to show up and go take it to these guys and end up Sunday night 1-0. You guys with me? All right, break it up. There he is. Hey, what's up, coach? How are you doing, guys? Good to see you. Yeah, how are you? I said this to Quasi is this is the, the most excited that I've been for a regular it's Green Bay, it's you, it's old and new. All right, here we go. Twenty one minutes, forty seconds. I will pause in the middle ish. Three, two. Yo, what's going on? It is X's and O's with Minnesota Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell, courtesy of the Minnesota Lottery. I'm Paul Allen. The aforementioned KOC is with us. Tenth coach in team history with his regular season debut coming up this Sunday. Ultimately, I'd, I'd be lying to you if I said I won't have butterflies and the adrenaline won't be going. Uh, but it, it can get away from me if you just don't focus on doing your job, which happens to be a lot for me, but I'm excited about it. This is awesome. Yeah. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you, PA. Kevin O'Connell, X's and O's. Thank you know, you myself listening. personally, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get to U.S. Bank Stadium on Sunday and, and just feel that energy. I already feel it, you know, within the Twin Cities. You know, we gave the guys a little bit of time off this weekend. and. And you don't have to be out and about long to know that people are excited about this team and excited about, obviously, this game to start it all off. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm a big routine guy. And, and with the extra time, that's great. But um, I'm, still, I'm, I'm trying to lock in on what every week's going to be like for me, not only in this role, but as the play caller and, and making sure I'm at my best for the group. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. I think he is so ready. I think that over the last several years of his coaching career and playing too, he's just really been kind of groomed in every every step of the way for this opportunity and um, has always made the most of every place that he's been. But I think he's excited. I think he's prepared as much as he possibly could be. But now that we're here today, it's definitely been long awaited for and we're just we're so excited to get this season rolling. So I can't wait to have the big group there. It starts for me, obviously, with my wife, Leah. With our three kids and a fourth on the way. Um, we've got our hands full, but it's going to be a, a huge night for our organization. It's, it's a huge night, obviously, personally for me, uh, being at my first regular season game as the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Knowing that they're there right alongside our great fan base, wouldn't imagine it trying to do it any other way than having them in the house like they've been for a lot of major moments in my life. New head coach for the Vikings, it's Kevin O'Connell, who comes over from the Rams. He won a Super Bowl as the offensive coordinator last year under Sean McVay. But he takes over a Vikings team with a lot of weapons. Ralph and them. Oh, Ralph and them. <laughs> you already get ready, he started cooking. <laughs> it's here now. Turn you loose, man. Hold the loose. Turn the deuce loose. Yeah. For me, game days are the most relaxing day of the whole week. If your preparation is up to par during the week, then you have nothing to worry about. When it comes to game day, it's just, you're just ready to play ball. Come on, oh, baby. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We back now, gangster. Let's get it, my man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, everybody should have a chip on their shoulder. Hey, yeah. First round is here. We got everything we deserve. We yeah. built for this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. 
It's time, baby. Football is back. Today is another day to don't knock the mother out. Like I always say, if you got on purple, hit a f***ing green. First game was uh, extremely special. You know, feeling the energy of the stadium. It's been a while since I've I've been able to be on uh, the home side of that. Anytime you have a home crowd that that brings the energy like that. It is electrifying. I didn't know what to expect in week one with a new staff having not played in the preseason, especially playing one of the better teams in football over the last few years. Justin Jefferson, his second catch of the day, and the Vikings on the opening drive are moving. I don't know that it could have been any cleaner. Down, eight to go. Cousins throws, feeling on the cross, has work to do, and he's out of bounds. Let's see where they mark him here. Gonna be a little short, and now the first big decision for Kevin O'Connell on a fourth and short. Fourth and one for Minnesota from the four. Cousins under center, puts Jefferson in motion. Back to pass on fourth down. Kevin O'Connell, this new offense. Wow. Let's go, David. So here come the Green Bay Packers to the Vikings defense, which includes the debut of Zadarius Smith. Here's Green Bay's first offensive play of the new year. Rodgers going to unleash, going deep. Watson, the rookie drops it. He was wide open, and Christian Watson dropped what would have been a touchdown. Green Bay one of two on third down. The only touchdown in the game. Cousins to Jefferson on fourth down, first drive of the season. Third and eight from the Vikings 40. Rodgers, Aaron Jones to his right, out of the shotgun. Vikes rush for Aaron, he's hit, and Rodgers is sacked! And it's the Darius Smith got his former teammate and knocked him out of anything close to field goal position. Zip Vikings, Kirk hit JJ on a fourth down touchdown. First of the year. Always feels good. Yeah, I love it. Especially first game of the season. Cousins, 13 of 17. 71 and 1. 
puts Thielen in motion, short motion to the right. Play action, Kirk, back to pass. He'll throw right. There was no denying Justin Jefferson. Two touchdowns already in this first half. 17-0 just before half time. That's a bad man. Hey, that's a bad man. Say cheese for the camera. Hey, yo. And if you've watched a minute of the NFL, you know that Justin Jefferson was already great. He's him. Now, this He's is him. some story. Hey. He and Kirk Cousins in lockstep in this new offense from Kevin hey. O'Connell. You like that one? What I really like is the finish, man. Not a lot of guys will be able to make that six points. We're running our 14 week on or 12 duo. You just get it off the field with six points. I got you. I got you. Great finish. It's only halftime. I never saw that before. 158, and it's just halftime. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I love that. You gotta go finish this, you know? And a 17 to nothing advantage. This Vikings offense, Paul, they're out there having fun. Now it's time for the defense to have a little fun. First and 10, Green Bay from its own 25. Aaron Punk sees nothing. Rolls out to the left. Throws it up for grabs. Intercepted. Yes, it was by Harry the Hitman. And by the way, that is Aaron Rodgers' first interception in a division game since the beginning of 2020. He got picked off by the hitman. We've got him on the ropes. Right? We've got him on the heels a little bit. Rodgers has been hit hard today. Four sacks. They've got a lot of pressure on him. Life without Devonta Adams hasn't been exactly easy today. It is 20 to 7 the way of Justin Jefferson. Jefferson holds it in. He was suspended in midair and he made the catch for 21. 184 receiving yards. A new single game record. He's JJ. Boy. Golly, 180. Good job, brother. Proud of you. you gotta start it off right, right? Minnesota Vikings have beaten the Green Bay Packers and done so rather soundly. Pop out of the gate, take the lead, cousins to JJ on fourth down, and never look back. The final score 23-7. Best player on the field today. Appreciate you. Really Appreciate you, Ryan. 23 to 7. Minnesota gets a week one win. I'm sure coach has been in a lot of moments like that before, just like the rest of us, right? It's the first attempt at what we all believe is um, going to be something great. And, uh, you know, we've got to go out there and put it on the table. So it was exciting for all of us, uh, but I, I can imagine it was an uh, extremely special one for him.
everything we talked about all week long, what it was going to take to win the game, that little added bonus we talked about last night, it all came to fruition, right? We're changing the narrative in this division, and we don't really care what's happened in the past, because everything we do is about moving forward. You guys woke up today on a mission and got it done in every phase. In every phase. Give it up for me. First and foremost, all right, you get an opportunity to be a head coach in this league. It takes the ultimate trust from ownership to decide that you're the right guy to lead the organization. And I'm so thankful that they picked me, not just because of them as owners, but because of our coaching staff, our players, and everybody that pours in to this team. Because like I told you last night, I love this team. I love this team and everything about you guys, but I want to give a game ball to both. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guess what this one's for? And even it's got to come out of my budget. This one's for every single player and coach in this room right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's too much to keep up. Yeah. That first speech, don't remember a whole lot of it. I just know how proud I was of the guys uh, in that moment. Uh, a lot of conversations, a lot of times standing up in front of the team talking about what it was going to take for, for us to win that game and just the build up to our football philosophy and seeing it come to life. Uh, right there in the home opener was a big deal for me. Hey, where's Clacy? Clacy, get up here. Yeah. 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 You, guys, you, you guys who have played in the league long enough know this, and I believe strongly, everything rises and falls on leadership. The speed of the leader, speed of the team. Yes, sir. All right, these two guys are running this organization. Yeah. All right, and we're going to go as far as they can take us. Yeah. All right? All the, way. all the way. All the way. He wants to <laughs> This was the first win. As these guys leading us, this is their first win. Yeah. So game balls to both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man, that was a special moment. I'm not in the locker room every day or at practice, you know, in the drills like the coaches and the players are. A team win all the way around, man. Let's go, Vikes on three, one, two, three. Vikes. That was the first time that I really felt a part of it. We poured so much into not only training camp, but the off season and really from day one together, trying to build this thing up the right way to accomplish our goal of getting off to a good start for the season, winning a huge division game at home. Congratulations on your game ball, man. You played outstanding. I got you. That was a moment that really stamped the importance of my role and his appreciation for us. Just super grateful for the opportunity we've had this year to enjoy every team is special, uh, connected, its own, you know, memory. And I'm just so excited for the memories we've been making. You're always trying to prove something to somebody. You're too old or you're too slow. Keeps it hungry. He just hit the big five -oh. That's amazing, bro. Good job. Keep it rolling, brother. Yes, sir. Love you, brother. You usually don't get plays like that back he to back. We just learned a whole lot more about our team and our heart. They yeah. go on the road with this thing. We made enough plays to win, but we left so many plays out. Oh, don't. He missed it! Double yeah. down! Yeah! Hunter, yeah. yeah. we're going to start for the Minnesota Vikings. What's going on, guys? How we doing? 